This is my 1970 old 442, and it is an original 442, although it's not a W30. Um, right now, I have the car set up for racing. This car has been the local track champion, Lapeer, the last four out of the nine years in the trophy sports class um, in bracket racing. So I'll give you a little tour of it. it has the uh, W30 W30 hood on it with the scoops that are functional. It's got the locks on the hood that work. And <clears throat> nothing real fancy going on with the motor. It's got a stock crank in it. It's got Edelbrock aluminum heads on it electric fuel pump these are the fuel lines this is a, a seal for the air cleaner to seal to the hood up here because it actually functions so that you get cold air it makes a difference on the times for the car the fastest time the cars ever ran was a 1092 at 120 miles an hour um, and it can be set up to do that again. Right now it's set up for bracket racing, which mean, makes a little bit of difference in this setup. Uh, it's got a <clears throat> comp cams roller, hydraulic cam uh, with uh, 252 and 148 duration with a .609 lift and uh, it runs on pump gas about 10 to 2 to 1 compression nothing exotic the car runs really good the engine's fresh as of 2020 uh, and it's got actually very little runtime or track time on that new engine it doesn't leak not one drop of oil the transmission is a TH 400 with a trans brake although I've rarely ever used the trans brake just because I foot brake it because of the class that I'm in but it does have a trans brake in it B&M Pro stick shifter full manual reverse uh, fire extinguishers and uh, trans brake button is right here there's a gauge pack with the transmission temperature, volts, oil, and water pressure. It also has AFR meter and an MSD two-step for the trans brake so that you can control the RPM that it transmission brakes at when you use the trans brake. Everything else in the car is pretty nice and clean and the car gets driven on the road a lot actually now it gets driven on the road and goes to car shows again more than uh, racing so that means that I got the seats in the racing seats with the harnesses and the center bars in the crossbar here for the harnesses to bolt to that's back in place but that comes right out with these pins and when it does if you put the stock seats back in which I can do in 20 minutes put the stock seats back in and you can use the back seat real easily and it's a very easy conversion uh, so this car goes both ways uh, right now it does have the slicks on it. These are Mickey Thompson 2810, 28.5 by 10.5s. They're actually a 30 inch tall slick and they fit on there real nicely. And the car loves that tall 30 inch slick. Um, it's got the wing on it just for looks. And the batteries are mounted in the trunk. 
that can be taken out very quickly with the push off pull on switch that can all be taken out of there if you choose to just drive it on the road or show it that can be taken out of there in just a couple hours uh, everything in the car works and I have I have a lot of extra stuff for the car it also has a DTS 12 volt it's a 33 spline act Mosier axle with the big Ford bearings on the ends uh, it's a tough rear end but it looks just like the GM 12 volt for cars it looks just like it but it's a tough rear end with a 390 gear in a spool uh, so basically in a short video that's the car it'll pull the wheels off the ground foot breaking it or leaving from an idle it'll pull the wheels off the ground about five to six inches I've got a lot of videos of that at the drag strip like I say this is the drag racing setup for the car I have a lot of the stock stuff for it too so we've had a ball with this car over the years I've had it since 2004 and I've got 70 plus trophies with this car so it's a definite trophy getter it it shows well it, I get trophies with it all the time it shows and like I say I raced it since I think we started racing in 2010 and uh, I've got a ton of trophies from racing car so anyways that's it